Hello everybody and welcome to this video from premierbusinessacademy.co.nz By the way, grab all your free resources there, there's tons there for you, no strings attached, grab it, it's theirs for the taking, enjoy it. Um, today's one is Lean Leadership Lessons, there's going to be probably lots more we can that will flow out of this one, but uh, this one is a question I get asked a lot, like what does great leadership look like in business, how can I... All of the questions we get asked actually to sum it all up comes back to leadership. So lean really comes back to leadership. I mean those first three letters, right? They, uh, they share that lean and leadership. Um, so um, I hope you like the sort of LLL going on here, lean leadership lessons. Um, so this is, or you could call them tips, whatever you want, but again, the questions that come on to me on LinkedIn, almost, well every day actually on LinkedIn, every day on our uh, lean group chats that I'm part of, is all of the questions really come back to one thing and that's leadership. All the roadblocks, all the challenges, all the problems that people have, watch, you know, we've got tons of great videos on how to overcome certain obstacles and challenges in your lean journey, how to build a fun lean culture, but it all comes back to this one thing. So if we can share a few tips today around this, and then if you want me to dive deeper on any of these topics, um, drop a comment below or, con or contact me on um, WhatsApp or contact me on LinkedIn, no worries. So lean is the hard thing that makes everything easy. This is the first thing I say to people, lean is the hard thing that makes everything easy. Um, so remember that um, this is a really important lesson to bear in mind and even write it down in your in your, in your your um, diary or your notebook or whatever. I actually recommend that anyone, anyone that's watching this is you, you write these tips down, put them in the front of your diary and refer to them regularly because lean, lean is the hard thing that makes everything easy and leadership is hard, right? We, when we sign up for, for leadership or a man, we might call it a management role, uh, really as soon as you're managing people and things um, or uh, there's a big difference between managing and leading. Leading means that people want to follow you. You know, that's your that's how you lead. Uh, managing is really just managing resources and managing managing people, which is not the same as leadership. They're two very very different things. But so here's some things that we're just, we're going to run through. Everybody is an owner. This is a really important concept. Making sure that from day one, everyone in your business feels like an owner, so that everything is transparent. Everybody knows what's going on. In fact, that ties straight into this one here, which is we say that business is like an aquarium. It's fully transparent, and you can see everything that's coming in and going out of the business. So that's really, really important. Those two things go together. Everybody's an owner, and the, and the, the aquarium, um, the, the thought of the aquarium. Um, the next one that's going to help you a huge amount is blaming the process, not the person. I was at a lean course recently, um, and there was one gentleman there that uh, I can't remember his name, but he wanted um, he had a lot of problems with people, people problems, people problems, and he was very frustrated. And we shared this little tip with him. I don't know if he liked it or not, but <laughs> we said, well, when we had a, a very much a blame culture at um, at Premier Group, our, our manufacturing company, in the early days, and when, when we came across the lean concept about you know respecting people and respecting resources and understanding this um, simple quote here, which is blame the process, not the person, it means that our, your whole focus shifts from to a process focus. So so you're going when there's a problem. L let's fix the process, there's got to be a process problem. And everyone's argument always is, oh yeah, but this person's average and their attitude sucks and all this sort of stuff. And sure, that might be the case, but the, the, the challenges in business as a leader, you've got to bring people together, preferably or really you have to bring people that share the same values, so that's really, really key. You've got to be really key, clear around your, your core values um, because then you can build a hiring process where you're asking the right questions that bring in the people that share those values with you. But the point is, that if you keep blaming the person, they are not going to, it won't be long before they clam up, they're never gonna share the real problem with you. Um, you know, you, you, you're just, you're, it's a lose-lose situation all the way. So as soon as you shift that, that focus from, from blame the person, not the process, and you blame the process, we had this sort of light bulb moment when we got this and we started training our, our leaders across the team how to do this, and it made all the difference. Suddenly, um, people start to, you know, they, they start to open up and feel they can be trusted and they're not gonna get, you know, jumped on or yelled on or, um, you know, um, suffer any sort of consequences of stuffing something up. Because that's not the way to grow a business. The only way to grow a business is to learn from every single failure and every single mistake. And you are shutting the door on all of that if you don't embrace this concept. So we could talk for 20 minutes about this concept, but it's so, so important. Please ask questions if you've got any. The morning meeting, you 
must get that off the ground. You will never become a great lean leader or any, any type of leader if you don't get the morning meeting off the ground because this is the drumbeat. This is where people have, have a voice, people feel respected. You can't do it weekly, you can't do it monthly. You've probably heard me say this in so many videos, but it is so, so important that you cannot um, miss the, the morning meeting and get that off the ground. Um, and over time, these meetings just get better and better. And a big tip here is to rotate the leadership because your goal is to always make sure everybody feels like an owner, everybody feels like a stakeholder. So you start to rotate the leadership as soon as you possibly can. Don't put that off so that every day there's a different person running the meeting, they're running through the agenda. It is incredibly powerful. We've got some very good um, videos on how to get the morning meeting off the ground, but that's really critical tip if you want to become a great lean leader. Someone that can really get a team to, you know, to be inspired, to follow, um, and do great things together. Really important. Um, if the student hasn't learnt, the teacher hasn't taught. This is a really hard one. Um, I've always struggled with this one. Um, and again, it's it, these all these concepts go together. You can see how they kind of all connect together. The teacher hasn't taught. So what that means, really, it explains itself. But you've got to go back to the drawing board and you've got to do better at coaching and training and growing people because if the teacher, if the student hasn't learned, the teacher hasn't taught. So that's a Toyota principle as well. All of these really, um, you know, this is all about the Toyota production system, which is what we know of um, as most people refer to it as lean, but um, and which is really the, the elimination of waste through continuous improvement, but really it's a human development system. It's a human transformation system, helping everybody to grow and learn and get better. And of course, then your processes and your get better. And then as a result of that, your service and quality just gets better and better. Um, so that's another really important one to think about. And that's pretty humbling for most business owners and leaders. Um, so you've got to get on with that. Um, the two foundational pillars of lean or the Japanese culture, the Toyota culture is that um, number one is a deep respect for people. That's that's the first um, the first kind of pillar that under, underlies all that, uh, that, that holds all this up. Um, deep respect for people. And the second one is a deep respect for resources. Um, so you've got to um, understand these two things to really become a great um, lean leader as well. Because if you don't have those basic pillars, you're always going to struggle. You're, you're not going to serve your people well. Um, another one which uh, always sounds really cheesy, but you are the CRO. You've got to remember this is one of the most important hats that you wear. Um, I'll try and draw a little hat there. Um, <laughs> CRO, which means the Chief Reminding Officer. That means every day, um, every hour, every time you're chatting to someone, you know, you're talking about the vision, the mission, the values, the, the, the principles that run the business, that, that, that guide the business um, and things like that. So you've always got to be and reminding people about why we're doing what we're doing and where we're going and how we're going to get there. Really critical and train your leadership team. So what I'm really saying with all of this, um, this in this po podcast or video today is that all of these lessons you need to take on board yourself and you need to share them with your leadership team and then they need to keep growing leaders underneath them as well because you need to keep growing people so that you're if you're thinking intergenerational and building a business that's much bigger than yourself and and will outlive you know yourself and, and many generations this is the types of things you have to do again i'm going right back to this lean is the hard thing that makes everything easy and on that note I'll, i'm going to jump straight to here Every day, if you do the hard things, which is this, life will get easier. If you continue to do the easy things, which is put this off or don't do this stuff, then you life is just going to get harder. And that just leads me to another um, another point as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so hopefully that um, there's a couple of things there. The CEO, the chief energy officer. So <laughs> this is a really interesting interesting one as well. You as a business owner or leader, you have to bring the energy. You have to be that chief energy officer. That's a really important role to play. Same with your leadership team. Are they bringing the energy every day, even when they're feeling down? They can't have bad days. They can't show that they're having bad days to their team. We've done a, a video on that. But that is really important that this, the, the chief energy officer, that you are um, taking up that role and you're bringing the, bringing the energy to the team. That's meant to look like a lightning bolt. Hope you like that. Um, the window and the mirror, there's another really important lesson. When things are going well, look out the window and praise your people. When things are going bad or off the rails or something goes wrong, look in the mirror um, and you know take a good look at yourself. Take it all on yourself. Because if you reverse that, which we see in business so much, and we even see it in sports teams, don't we, in average sports teams, um, when things go wrong, <laughs> when things go wrong, the coach or um, the captain can look at the... Um, look out the window and, and say it's my people's fault 
but the only way they're ever gonna move forward is to take full accountability or extreme ownership, we call it. Um, and that's a really important principle. You gotta take extreme ownership um, of things, especially if things go off the rails. Really, really critical. Culture first, you've gotta think about that or you could be calling it people first. But again, that's what this is all about really is that you're putting people first because your biggest priority every day is growing people so that they get better and better and better. They're becoming at least 1% better every day. They're, becoming the best possible version of themselves, which is really important if you want to help them hit their life goals, which is critical. Um, if you want to grow, grow a great business, then you need to be um, you know, putting your people first, your interests, their interests first. It's really, really important. Um, obviously, you've still got to have the basics, right? Every business needs to, number one, generate, uh, make a profit, number two, generate cash, right? If you don't have those two things, you're out of business. But that's part of growing people, that's part of teaching and training from day one because everybody's an owner. So you're training them about those simple things straight away, those foundational things. Well, when you join uh, ABC Group, um, you understand that we need, every day we need to make a profit, profit and every day we need to generate cash, otherwise we're not gonna be in business. So that is really key and that's part of this, right? So, so I'm not saying culture first at the expense of the financials, that's, they go together, the financials um, if you're putting culture first, then that means you're training people properly. Everything's um, transparent like an aquarium. People can see what's coming in, what's going out. You're training people on financial training, so everybody is an owner. Everybody is a stakeholder. Everybody has a stake um, in the outcome, which I'm gonna pop in, pop in here too. Make sure everyone has a stake in the outcome um, so that everybody is treated like a virtual shareholder. So you get full buy-in. Um, a group chat, make sure you've at least got one group chat. It might be your good news chat, the ABC company's good news chat, or it might be their, your daily reporting chat, or it might be the uh, lean improvements chat, whatever it is, make sure there's at least one group chat where everybody's connected on a platform like WhatsApp or Signal or Messenger or something like that, so that everybody is connected and you can share messages through the day. When you think of something, you're listening to your audio book um, you know, during your gym session, um, and you're listening to something, you think, oh, I must share that with the team. You can just pull out your phone and shoot a, you know, a 20 second video saying, I just heard this cool quote, you know, I want to share that with the team. So that's a really cool way of building trust and rapport and being that chief reminding officer and being that uh, chief energy officer as well. Very simple, very powerful. Lots more benefits I could talk about there. Daily video is a real powerful one if you want to really take your lean leadership to the next level or your leadership to the next level, because it's really the same thing. That's really, really the same thing. A great leader is a lean thinker or a lean thinker is a great leader. So so think about that. Um, and, and just sharing a little daily video, 30 seconds a minute might be a little update about something. Um, it might be something that's facing, a challenge that's facing the business. Um, sharing some good news, um, sharing some wins. Always, always be sharing the wins. I haven't actually put that in there. So celebrate all the small wins. That's a really key, um, key way of being a great leader. Celebrate the small wins because guess what? Um, the small wins lead to the big wins, right? So, so it's really, really important making sure you're doing that. Um, daily video, daily email, you can. I'm not a big fan of this anymore because I regard email as waste. So, um, but if you're scared of getting on video, well, at least write your team a little daily message saying, hey, thanks for being a great team. Welcome to day blah, blah, blah. Welcome. Um, and you know, you might put a core value in there. Today, I'm thinking of this core value. This is what I'm thinking about it. Um, are you living and breathing it? Thanks for being awesome. Uh, have an amazing day and let's deliver happiness to how many, how many raving fans can we create today? You know, blah, blah, blah. A little, you'll get good at that if you do it daily. It's like building building muscle. Um, you just It's just practice, practice, practice. Um, we've talked about that, we've talked about that. Growing people we've touched on already, but if that's your number one focus, number one, and then that leads to um, uh, process improvements. So your process, processes just get better and better. And what does that lead to? We all know that leads to um, improving quality. Quality goes up and service goes up. So your, your customers win and your people win. So if you're growing people, then there's gonna be less struggle every day, more improvements, less struggle, less hassles, less firefighting, less drama, which is what we all want in, in business. We want less drama. Um, and you can run a company, you know, almost drama free, which is what we have the pleasure of doing here at Premier Group NZ every day because we've spent five, six years now, seven years, I think, working on this journey, making it better and better for our people and getting better and better at growing people, coaching and training and teaching. So that's what you get as a company that runs drama free. That's your one of your uh, incredible rewards and a company that will run with just a light touch from yourself. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. Do the hard things, we've talked about that. Personal growth, make sure you're learning and growing every day because if you're not, 
your team can really only grow as, as fast as you're growing. So the faster you can grow, the faster the team can grow because the lessons you're learning, you can share them with the team. So I use platforms like Audible, the Lean Play app, which is Paul Acker's app, which is just amazing. Lots of free, um, great books on there. Um, you, know, you might follow some really, um, really smart, uh, what's the word? High value um, entrepreneurs on a, on a podcast, but making sure you're getting in like, you know, at least 30 minutes of growth and learning a day, if, if more if you can. Um, one, one little top tip there is that I do my personal growth and learning during my workout session. So there's 30 minutes to 40 minutes of, of learning and growth, uh, listening to Audible or whatever book I'm listening to at the time. Um, and that's a huge, you know, huge help and that helps you to, to share that with learning with the team and, and grow the business. Lean Health, I'm gonna um, put a plug in again for this. This book is amazing. You need to listen to this book. It's called Lean Health by Paul Ackers. It's on the Lean Play app. You need to listen to it. It's incredible. It'll change the way you think about your health um, and your future. And of course, if you want to be a great leader, you have to be healthy. You have to be in tune. Because if you're not, if you're not at peak health, you can't be at peak performance. Um, you know, it affects your mood. It affects your energy. You can't really be a good CEO. You can't even be a great CRO if you uh, don't have the health sorted out. You know, you've got to have, you've got to have the health um, part of your part of your life sorted out. Because if you don't have great health, you really don't have anything. And if you don't have great health, you sure can't be a great leader. Because you can't lead with purpose and energy and passion. Um, all the things you need to, to, you know, to, to lead a team. You're actually being not just unfair on yourself or selfish, you're actually being unfair on your team as well, unfair on your family because you cannot lead them with the, uh, at, at, at your peak performance. You need to have, you need to be uh, you know, in peak and always be um, in, in improving every day, even if, again, just by 1%, just getting better, stronger, healthier, making, creating better habits. So great, uh, great app to use, by the way, I've been using it for six years now, is Habit Share, incredible app, um, very simple, and it'll help you build and sustain great habits. So feel free to connect with me there. Um, servant leadership. Is really important. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to pop habit share on here because it's such an, a key little tool that will help you to to grow and um, and form better habits, especially if you're worried about or you're struggling with health healthy habits um, and breaking bad ones. Servant leadership. So you're serving. What does that mean? It means you serve those that you lead. Sorry, I'm sort of writing in a bit of a hurry here. Um, servant leadership. You're serving those that you lead. You're putting your people's interests um, and you're kind of you know sort of like leading from behind, really. Um, so it's not about being a, a rock star leader or someone that's blah, blah, blah. That's not what it's all about. It is about being being there for your team, supporting them, helping them um, uncover roadblocks and things like that. Um, we've talked about core values, how important that is to be clear on what those values are so that you're hiring the right people from the start. Again, it doesn't change this. If you do hire a person that doesn't share your values or they're in your company right now, you still can't turn this one around. You still have to blame the process when things go wrong because that person can still, even if they've got a bad attitude, can still get better and you will learn nothing or you'll go backwards if you blame the person. It just, just does not work, just flat out doesn't work. It just, just it's, it's soul destroying and it brings the culture down really, really quickly. Lead with questions, not answers. Really, really top tip there. Um, and this is a hard one for me because someone, you know, someone asks a question, I naturally want to just say, this is what I'm thinking. Um, you know, a, a, bit, a bit like that. Um, so this one's been a hard one for me and even after six years of practicing this, I still have my moments where I'm like, up, oh, about to answer, and I'm like, okay, um, okay, what, Hannah, what do you, th what do you think? So lead with questions and get, um, otherwise you're just going to build a really a flock of sheep, a bunch of sheep that are just following. You're not going to build a team of owners if you keep answering all the questions. So you've got to lead with questions, which means just that. Um, and habit share we've talked about. So there's a few um, sort of. Uh, little tips today. There's obviously lots more we could talk about, but there's enough there for you to get started. If you're really struggling with leadership, struggling with business, you've got drama, you're putting out fires all the time, you're running from, you know, you're firefighting, putting, going from one one problem to another. You're the guy that's answering, or the girl that's answering all the questions. You're like, you're like the Google of <laughs> of your business. No one wants to be that, right? Um, some people enjoy it, by the way, but you'll never be a great leader if that's you. Um, you have to quit that. That's a crazy habit. You don't want to be the person with all the answers because um, you've probably heard me say this before, but here's a, here's a good little quote that will help you with that, is that um, 
I've got no room to write it now, but uh, so smart people learn from, average people learn from their experiences, smart people learn from everyone and everything, and stupid people already have all the answers. So you don't wanna be that stupid person um, in there, you wanna be the person that's learning all the time from everyone and everything, and you wanna be building a team um, that is, is not just coming to you for all the answers, a team that can you know, start to solve their problems, they start to improve, uh, create standards, create SOPs, you know, create structure. So if that's the type of business you want, the type of team you want to lead, um, you need to start practicing these things. And again, if you've got questions, put, pop them in the comments uh, or uh, send me a voice note and we can build on, on, on any of these. Most of our, well actually all of our videos, all of this type of content comes from questions from people like you um, and suggestions as well on things they want to hear about. So we'd love to hear from you if you've got any questions, want to go deeper on this. Don't forget to go to premierbusinessacademy.co.nz for lots more free resources. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.